a very happy Republican. More specifically, I'm a very happy Trump-supporting Republican, especially considering that four days ago, Donald Trump won by a landslide in the Iowa caucus against Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, and Vivek Ramaswamy, the three other candidates who at least had some kind of a pulse within the race. And he managed to... And here's the thing considering this landslide. Donald Trump was was 30 points ahead over Ron DeSantis, who was who came in second place, and thankfully managed to beat Nick, Nikki Haley, who honestly, let's just face it, has such a fucking horrible campaign. I don't understand how she's. I mean, aside from the fact of outside outside uh, forces trying to help her, like the establishment trying to uh, prop up her campaign. I do not see any reason why Nikki Haley should be involved at this point, considering the fact that Donald Trump has such a ma has such major appeal. In fact, Donald Trump managed to break the record in terms of how wide of a gap he, he had over his second place opponent, again, Ron DeSantis. And the original record was, if I recall correctly, it was 12 points, and that was with George W. Bush winning the Iowa caucus back in 2000 I, I don't at this at this point in time you should you, everyone should just call the uh the primary for what it is done and settled it already with Donald Trump obviously going to win the primaries and in fact with the uh with the New Hampshire election which is going to be coming up in a few days soon if I recall correctly it's going to be on Tuesday January 23rd, or it could be on, on the 22nd, either 22nd or January 3rd. I totally expect that Donald Trump is going to win that win the state in New Hampshire by far. Now, I would not be surprised if Nikki Haley manages to come in second place because I because there have been uh, some polls as well as some issues regarding uh, Rod DeSantis and his campaign status in New Hampshire, even to the point where he is actively abandoning abandoning the state of New Hampshire for that of South Carolina. And I will be going there pretty soon because that's going to be a big kicker because okay, here's the thing. Considering that what I believe and what the evidence is showing me at at least at this current point in time, I believe Nikki Haley will be at second place. Not enough to get get towards beat to defeat Donald Trump. But enough to at least have a little bit of a pulse within the race. What's going to be very interesting is South Carolina. Because that is her home state, who where she was originally the governor of South Carolina. And last time I checked, she isn't very popular there. In fact, every everyone, if I recall not not if I recall correctly, I know this actually happened. When Donald Trump was Trump was uh at a college football game, he got so many cheers. And this was, and <laughs> oh my God, this was at a, again, this was at a college game. And I think Nikki Haley actually attended this co college as an insult to injury. Of course, a lot of people like uh, that once, one cringy uh, TikToker, his name, Hen Hen Harry Sisson, um, claimed that he he was booed, which of course he was at least a little bit booed, but not, but not as much as, as a lot of candidates. In fact, the cheer, in fact, the cheers heavily outnumbered the boos by far. But that only goes to show that Donald Trump's support is over the top. I totally expect that uh, Nikki Haley falls into third place to the lowest point if she still remains in that race. In fact. A lot of people are actually wondering whether or not Nikki Haley is actually going to stay in the race. Because as we all as we all know, if a candidate does not win their does not win the primary of their home state, their career is practically finished at that point. In regards to at least the presidency, in terms of uh, trying to obtain the presidency. But in the case of Nikki Haley, I just think she would be done for. If she does not have the a capability in order to get her state, why the hell is she even a leader or even a figurehead within the Republican Party at all? 
In fact, a lot of people just are, are, are coming into question over whether or not she's even a Republican at all, to the point where there's been memes where she's compared to Hillary Clinton. I mean, after all, she did say in her own book, with all due respect, that that's literally the name of the book. I'm not, I'm not joking. She literally said that she, she thought Hillary Clinton was an inspiration. Hillary Clinton, of all people. God, I just... Ugh. So much frustration with these kinds of people. But, none, but in all honesty, the only reason where I can actually see her continuing on is, one, she has to get a second place boost within New Hampshire. That alone would show that she still has some kind of support. Number two, she still has some more establishment support as well, which if and when she goes into the, into the primary in South Carolina. After that, I don't know how long she's going to last. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when she will have to suspend her campaign. And in all honesty, if she does go through with South Carolina and she go and she ends up losing again, she, I expect her to lose by a wide margin, for one, and I expect her political career to just be done. At that point, I don't know if the establishment would would any more put their bets on, at least within the Republican Republicans. I would not ex expect it to put their money on Nikki Haley actually doing some kind of damage for Donald, uh, against Donald Trump. Because here's the thing. He's already writing high with him winning the Iowa caucus, over 51% of the vote. He managed to get Vivek Ramaswamy, who I honestly, pref I, I, I personally like, to not only to drop out, but to actually endorse Donald Trump. I I honestly expect him to be a cabinet member. And he's de he definitely impressed me by... By a whole lot, and true, there, you. It's fair that you should be uh, suspicious of him, or at least uh, question him. That's actually a pretty good mindset. But nonetheless, you have to admit the very fact that he turned, he he became a no, he went from a nobody to a somebody, should alone be impressive in and of itself. And he speaks of minds, speaks to the hearts of everyday Americans. So with that, out, so with Vivek Ramaswamy out of the way, he's he will, Donald Trump will definitely obtain that vote from Vivek Ramaswamy, and that will definitely put him over the edge with New Hampshire, with South Carolina, and well, let's be honest, he's already treated as the incumbent for the Republican Party, even though in technicality he isn't, but nonetheless he's the one who was actually president. The others aren't. And I honestly expect that to, honestly, Nikki Haley is on life support. Ron DeSantis, he's also on life support as well. In fact, while I do think that uh, Nikki Haley is going to stay during her time in South Carolina, as well as with, as well as supposedly riding on a second place, uh, a second place uh, high uh, going into South Carolina, I totally think that Ron this I think this is just my opinion that Ron DeSantis will still continue on, but prior to Super Tuesday when the uh, primary in Florida, his own home state, comes in. I'm pretty sure once he see, once he goes through with Nevada, just prior to Super Tuesday, he will be forced to call, call it quits. I'm pretty sure that he himself wants to continue on with his political career. And considering the fact that he has shot himself in the foot and has kind of alienated many MAGA voters over time, I, it would not surprise it. It would not surprise me that uh, he's tried to he would try to salvage whatever he could in order to continue on with his political career. I don't know, but I do know is that if there was any chance that the establishment is going to actually be Donald Trump in any way, those hopes have been long dashed thanks to the Iowa caucus. And they will continue to be dashed with New Hampshire and South Carolina and beyond. Now, I know that there are people who are thinking the possibility of, Donald, of the Republican Party, the establishment, 
intentionally not going to give the votes to Donald Trump, as he so rightfully earned. And to someone that they, they can control, like again, Nikki Haley. But try telling that with, the, with most of your constituents, or most of the people within the party that voted for Donald Trump. Try telling that to the 7% who voted for Vivek Rabaswamy. Tell that to the 51%, and again, this is in Iowa, the 51% that voted for Donald Trump. Do you expect them to simply take this? Absolutely not. And I'm, and if they do go through with this, this will definitely, this will not only cause Joe Biden to win in 2024. This will cause the decimation of the Republican Party. In fact, I would argue that this would cause such a major rift that uh, the Republican Party it would be unrecoverable at that point. But I don't think that's going to happen. Just my personal opinion, due to the fact that Donald Trump has such high support, and the fact that the caucus already shows that support is still strong. I'm I wouldn't be surprised if that could use on with future primaries, with future caucuses going on. I mean, after all, it's not like Nikki Haley, who's trying, who's been begging for Democrats to vote for her, or for liberals to vote for her in the primaries and the caucuses. My name is Noah Meehan of The Art Truth. Please post your comments down below, like this video, subscribe, and share with friends. Also, if any issues regarding my videos, such as, such as how I speak, or uh, improvements to my quality, or whatever, please post it in the comment section down below, or directly message me. Thank you. Almost.